Welcome back, everyone. Here, we are going to talk about analytic description of periodic functions. In the previous video, we talked about periodic functions by means of the sine curve. So, in this video, we will describe analytically some periodic functions that are non-sinusoidal. I will show you how to describe a periodic function analytically using four examples. So watch this video to the end and see how it is done. Now, this is the first example I have. We can also determine the period of a non-sinusoidal function. The function started from here, okay? Take note of these thick lines, all right? The function started from here. And at this point again, it started again, okay? It started from here. And then it started again. That means the period of this function is 6. Because at x equal to 6, the function started repeating itself. So this is to tell us that the period of this function is what? 6. So if we can describe from here to here, we have gotten the description of the function. Because from here again, the function will start repeating itself. That is, the function values will start repeating. Remember what we said in the previous video, talking about period of a function, okay? So let's describe from here to here. Let's go ahead. This is x equal to zero, x equal to four. So between x equal to zero and x equal to four, I want to describe this line now, okay? Between x equal to zero and x equal to four, y is equal to what? Three between x equal to zero and x equal to four, y is equal to three. We can see it. So y is also f of x. That is to say, f of x is equal to three. In the interval, zero less than x, and x is less than four. This is for the first line. Let's describe this line, the last one. Between x equal to 4 and x equal to 6, y is equal to 0. Check. This is the corresponding y value, 0. Between x equal to 4 and x equal to 6. So between x equal to 4 and x equal to 6, y is equal to 0. So y is also f of x. That is, f of x is equal to zero. In the interval, four less than x, and x less than what? Six. So we have described the function from here to here. And that one will give us the description of the full function. Let us write this as a pieces of functions now. f of x is equal to this f of x is equal to 3 in the interval 0 less than x less than 4, 0 less than x less than 4, and the same f of x is equal to what? 0 in the interval 4 less than x less than 6, 4 less than x less than 6. This 6 shows that it is the period of the periodic function. So we can write f of s plus 6 is equal to what f of x because 6 is the period. Remember what we define period as the smallest positive value of t such that f of x plus t is equal to f of x. So in this case now t is 6. 6 is the period of that function. So let's describe the next function. All right, this is the second function for rocks to describe analytically. The function started from here, okay? And at this point, it started again. So if we can describe the function from here to here, it means that we have gotten the analytic description of the entire function. You get it? These thick lines are what we watch out for, okay? Not these um, thin ones. So this first thick line is from here to here, okay? This is theory, two, theory, four. So we have theory here. Now, 
Between x equal to 0, this is x equal to 0, the coordinate of this point is 0, comma, minus 1. So the y value here is minus 1, the x value is 0. So between 0 and 3, trace it, this is 3, what is y? We cannot say what y is. What we have to do is to determine the equation of this line. Unlike the first question, we could see what the y value is, okay? But this one is different. So let us determine the equation of this line, all right? Between x equal to 0 and x equal to 3, this is it. Let us determine the equation of the line. The coordinate of this point is coordinate is x comma y. So x here is 3. And what is y? y is minus 1. Okay? This is the corresponding y minus 1. Now, what about this? What is the coordinate of this point? y here is 2 and x is 0. So here we have 0 comma 2. So to determine the equation of this line, we are going to make use of the formula that says y minus y1 all over x minus x1 is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. We call this the equation of a line in two-point form. Okay, we have two points, x1, y1, x2, y2. This one here will actually give us the gradient of the line. Let's proceed. So we can say, let this be x1, y1. This is x2, y2. y minus y1. y1 is what? 2 all over x minus x1. x1 is 0. Is equal to y2. y2 is minus 1. Minus 1 minus y1 is 2. All over x2 minus x1. x2 is 3. x1 is 0. That's 3 minus 0. Okay, so let's simplify y minus 2 all over x. x minus 0 is x is equal to minus 1 minus 2 is minus 3. Okay, 3 minus 0 is 3. So minus 3 divided by 3 is actually minus 1. That means y minus 2 is equal to what? Minus x. If we take minus 2 to the other side, it becomes plus 2. We can say that y is equal to 2 minus x. So between x equal to 0 and x equal to 3, y is equal to 2 minus x. We can say now that f of x is equal to 2 minus x in the interval 0 less than x less than what? 3. That is for this first part. So let us describe this one. The corresponding x value here is 3, and here it is what, 5? Yes, this is 5. 3, 4, 5, 6. Yes, we can say that it is 5. Okay? So between x equal to 3 and x equal to 5, the y value is minus 1. Look at it. It flows. So between three, x equal to 3 and x equal to 5, y is minus 1. We can say that the period of this function is 5, okay? Because at this point again, the function will start repeating its values. Between x equal to 3 and x equal to 5, we said that y is equal to what? Minus 1. That one is straightforward y is equal to minus 1. So, f of x is equal to minus 1 in the interval 3 less than x less than 5. 
So we can write the function as f of x equal to, we have 2 minus x, 2 minus x with the interval 0 less than x less than 3, and f of s is equal to minus 1 in the interval 3 less than x less than 5. So the period of this function is 5. Therefore, f of x plus 5 is equal to f of x. So we have described that function analytically. Let's proceed to the third one. The function started from here, and we can see it starting again from this point. So the period is what? 13. All right? This is what we'll do. We'll describe this line, this line, and this line. The thick lines. That's what we'll describe. Now, between x equal to 0 and x equal to 4, 0 to 4, let us describe this line. So we have to look for the equation of this line using the formula that we used earlier. That is uh, y minus y1 over x minus x1 is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So between x equal to 0 and x equal to 4, between x equal to 0, and x equal to 4. The coordinate of this point is 0, 0. This is the origin. x is 0, y is 0. And the coordinate of this point is 4, 3 because this is the corresponding x value 4 and this is the corresponding y value. So let us look for the equation of this line now, given these two points. So we can say x1, y1, x2, y2. y minus y1, y1 is 0, divided by x minus x1, x1 is still 0, is equal to y2 minus y1, y2 is 3, y1 is 0, divided by x2 minus x1, x2 is 4, x1 is what? 0. y over x, of course, this is y minus 0 y, x minus 0 x is equal to 3 over 4. So if we make y the subject of the formula by multiplying both sides by x, y will now be equal to 3x over 4. So between x equal to 0 and x equal to 4, this is what y is. So we can see that f of x is equal to 3x over 4 in the interval 0 less than x and x is less than what? 4. So we have described this first line. What about this? Here, we'll still have to make use of the equation of the straight line. The coordinates of this top is 4, 3. So what will it be here? This point for x, it is 10. Look at it, 10. It corresponds to this point. And for y, it is what? Minus 3. This is what the coordinate of this point is. x1, y1, x2, y2. So let's use this um, formula to determine the equation of this line now. y minus y1, y1 is 3 at the top there, all over x minus x1. x1 is 4 is equal to y2 minus y1, y2 is minus 3, y1 is 3, all over x2 minus x1, x2 is 10, x1 is 4, 10 minus 4, okay, so y minus 3 over x minus 4 is equal to, minus 3 minus 3 is minus 6, 10 minus 4 is 6. So minus 6 divided by 6 is minus 1. If we cross multiply, y minus 3 will be equal to minus 1 times x minus x minus 1 times minus 4 plus 4. So let's make y the subject of the formula. y is now equal to minus x plus 4 plus 3. Minus 3 will cross and turn to plus, okay? 
So therefore, y is equal to 4 plus 3 is 7, then minus x. So we can say 7 minus x. So between x equal to 4 and x equal to 10, y is equal to what? 7 minus x. That is to say that f of x is equal to 7 minus x in the interval 4 less than x less than 10. We still have one more line to describe. That's this one. Between x equal to 10 and x equal to 13. Look at it, 10, 13. This is where we'll stop. So this shows that 13 is the period of the function. All right? So between x equal to 10 and x equal to 13, the value of y is straightforward. y is minus 3. You can see it. So between x equal to 10 and x equal to 13, y is equal to what? Minus 3. That is to say, f of x is minus 3 in the interval. 10 less than x less than 13. f of x is now equal to this. For the first one, we have 3x over 4 in the interval 0 less than x less than 4. 3x over 4, 0 less than x less than 4. The second one, we have 7 minus x in the interval 4 less than x less than 10. 7 minus x in the interval, 4 less than x, less than 10. And the last one is minus 3. Minus 3 in the interval, 10 less than x, less than 13. So the period of this function is 13 because f of x plus 13 is equal to f of x. So we have succeeded in describing this function analytically. Let's see the last one. The function started from here, and we can see the same pattern here again. So the period is what? 10. This is it, 10. If we can describe the function from here to here, it means that we have gotten a description of the entire function. So between x equal to 0, x here is 0, and y is 3. So between x equal to 0 and x equal to what? 4. y is equal to 3. That's it. Between x equal to 0 and x equal to 4, y is equal to 3. That is to say, f of x is equal to 3 in the interval 0 less than x and x is less than 4. Also, let's describe this one. Is another thick line. Between x equal to, what is the coordinate of x here? 4. Look at it, x is 4 here. And x equal to 7. It is 7 here. So between x equal to 4 and x equal to 7, y is 5. It's obvious. Between x equal to 4 and x equal to 7, y is equal to 5. That is to say, f of x is equal to 5 in the interval 4 less than x and x is less than 7. Lastly, between x equal to 7 and x equal to 10, it is obvious that y is 0. Between x equal to 7 and x equal to 10, y is equal to 0. So f of x is equal to 0 in the interval 7 less than x and x less than 10. So we can write the function as f of x is equal to this theory in the interval 0 less than x less than 4, 5 in the interval 4 less than x less than 7, and 0 in the interval 7 less than x less than 10. 7 less than x less than 10. 
the period of this function is 10. That is to say, f of x plus 10 is equal to f of x. So this is how to describe analytically a periodic function. I hope you enjoyed the video. Keep supporting by subscribing, like, and share the video to your friends and to your course mates. We are still talking about Fourier series. Just keep watching for more content.